So the Opal Corsa, it's back, and it's back with a vengeance, bringing a subtle shark to the party, or maybe make that not such a subtle shark. Not only have I got a little shark pattern embossed and print here in your phone holder slot, this is coming on quite fiercely at the very competitive B segment of motoring. That's the likes of Ford's Fiesta and Volkswagen's Polo, for instance. And with this latest generation Corsa, I think you'll agree with me, they've done a pretty cracking job of it. On the outside, it's sharp, it's angular, but yet it's fairly subtle, a bit like the Polo in a way, and yet it's got its very much its own style and characteristics. But where the shark perhaps comes to the party, where that hint is maybe not so subtle, is the way that this vehicle drives. I will tell you that this has got to be some of the most fun you can have in one of these little hatchbacks. If you bear in mind that this isn't like an OPC version or like Volkswagen have a GTI or Ford have, of course, an ST. If you can't bear in mind this is the standard one, not the hottest version of the Opel Corsa, this 1.2 litre turbo motor is an absolute cracker of a thing. It not only sounds good, it feels great to drive, it's nippy. In fact, you really could forgive it for thinking that it's bigger and a lot more powerful than it is. And that's what you're kind of getting with this new Corsa. You see, it's got the underpinnings of a Peugeot 208. When I say the underpinnings, that's the drivetrain, that's the chassis, that's the engine. And that's not exactly a bad thing when you consider Peugeot's been at it for quite a long time. A lot of research and development, a lot of expenses have gone into developing that 208 and making it a pretty stonking good compact little car for the city. And that's what you're getting here with this Corsa. You can feel they've taken a solid base They've tuned it and given it its own Opal characteristics and its own Opal unique identity, but it's done on a great platform, and that's incredibly evident when you drive it. What you also find they've done with this latest generation is they've made sure they've upped the games in terms of its overall offering, in terms of the technology, the comfort, and the features which you can now get. to the interior space where things have really stepped up to modern times here with Opal. Now you get a very very electronic digital instrumentation cluster up ahead. Yes it may not be the biggest in the industry but it's still very neat. I love the way it's customizable and I like the way it's moving to the modern age of digital instrumentation clusters and the overall modern feel and thinking of the vehicle. Then you find you got a neat flat bottom steering wheel Feels sporty, feels good in the hand. It's got the steering wheel mounted controls here. At the center, I've got your multimedia system. It's Apple's CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, terribly easy to use. And with those features, you're getting the likes of Google Maps, for instance, here, and all your overall streaming and multimedia sources synced through your mobile device. So finally, to sum things up, this new Opal Corsa. It's fighting in a fiercely competitive market space. It's in an ocean with other aggressive characters, but sharks normally reign supreme, and I think that's what they've done here. Yes, they're going up against the likes of Ford's Fiesta and Volkswagen's Polo, both excellent B-segment vehicles, but with its own unique styling, the characteristics, the way it drives, the wealth of technological advancements, and this 1.2 litre motor, it's got to be perhaps some of the most fun you can have within this space. I also love the overall feel of driving it and I think what Opel have put together here is a vehicle which makes an incredibly compelling case for itself. From me Jason of Technobock, until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Cheers for now.